Hey guys, today I'll show you guys how you can make your own professional soccer CV or resume. So you want to start by going onto Google Docs uh, over here and you want to pick any kind of template that resembles like a resume. I picked this one because it looks good and it fit my needs the most, but you can pick any one you want. So you just want to start off by putting your name at the top, big and clear so they can like uh, see it instantly. Then you want to put your city and your country and then the num your phone number, an up-to-date phone number. And then you want to put your professional email. All right. So for the email, you don't want it to be like XXGamer123 or something like that. Make it a professional email with your name. Not too complicated to see. And yeah, that's it for the email. Then you want to put a picture of yourself. Make sure in the picture like you have a jersey of the current team you're playing for or the college you're playing for. And make sure that you have a presentable face like here so the coach the coach knows that you are professional so yeah you want to put a good picture here with a good t-shirt all dressed up and yeah so the coach knows that you're professional so for the biography you want to do date of birth february 1st 2003 you don't want to put your age because that just updates every year and since the, you have your date of birth you don't really need an age for the height you want to do just your height and put it in centimeters too and the weight you want to put it in pounds and kilograms and about these two you don't want to lie about it because if you like if you if you lie about it you say like you're six five and then you go there you're like five foot five they, they're, they're gonna make oh my god you're not five foot you're not six foot four you lied about it and it's just not really professional same thing about your weight you don't want to overestimate it just put it be honest with it and put the right weight that you weigh for the foot just make your preferred foot left your strong foot and then for the position you want to put two positions that you're comfortable playing at just to give more information to the coach and then for the preferred position is the position that you prefer playing, obviously, or the one that you're best at. For the experience, you just want to put the club that you played at. So I played at this club in 2011. I had I played as a striker, 26 appearances, 10 goals. And then next, I played at this club between 2012 and 2013. And I just want to do that for every single club you've played at. And then for your current club, you want to put current club at the side. And yeah, that's it for the experience. And then you want to put a column for strengths. You don't want to put like every strength you've got. You like a coach is not going to go through every strength you've got, like a whole page of it, because they don't have time for that. They just want like a quick, good summary of what you're good at. So put your four or four or five best strengths like this. And yeah, that's it for strengths. Education, you just want to put your high school and then your elementary school and give a little information so I was voted MVP here and yeah that's it if you live in the US or if, if you're past high school you can put your SAT scores here but I live in Canada so I don't really have one I haven't taken my SAT SATs yet and my my grade, my grade 12 year is not done so I don't have an exact GPA you could put your current GPA, but that's not really necessary right now for me. But if you needed to, you could put like your GPA and then put like 4.0. And yeah, that's it for your GPA. If you, if you need to put one, put like your SAT scores, your SAT scores, and uh, all the other scores I need to put down here. And yeah, that's it. Just a quick overview of what kind of player you are, what are your strengths, where you played, your name, your date of birth, stuff like that. It really helps coaches look at what kind of player you are. So the CV, you want to come here, file, and then download and put in a PDF document and download it. And then you can send that alongside your highlight tape to coaches that you want, that are interested for playing with. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next.